Good evening, Bahamas, on the broadcast tonight. The Free National Movement fired up and ready to go as the party moves its election machinery into Grand Bahama. Plus, the Democratic National Alliance holds its first mass rally here in the capital. And close calls prompt cyclists to push for road safety. is brought to you by Alive, the nation's newest and best LTE network. Good to be alive. Welcome to our News of the Weekend edition and thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Knowles. The opposition party taking its campaign machinery to the second city last night, holding its first mega rally on Grand Bahama in the lead up to next month's general election. Thousands of fired up FNM supporters turned out to hear the party's plans to revitalize that island's ailing economy and bring the magic back to Grand Bahama should the FNM win the general election. And from all indications, party leader Dr. Hubert Minnis says the party is poised to, to do just that. And includes specific numbers. I formally report to you tonight that the free national movement will be the next government of the Commonwealth of the Freeport gone red! And Free National Movement leader Dr. Hubin Minnis says the red tsunami moving through the country will cover Grand Bahama. While addressing a massive crowd of party supporters Friday night, Dr. Minnis sought to convince voters why they should fire what he called the scandal-written progressive liberal party. Once again, lashing out at Education Minister Jerome Fitzgerald's admission about seeking contracts worth millions for his family's businesses from Bahamar. While he was negotiating on behalf of the government of the Bahamas, he first denied this, but the truth has come out. He should be fired for what he did. But since Perry Christie won't fire him, we need to fire all of them. Dr. Minnis says the FNM is ready to work and serve the Bahamian people. And if given the opportunity, promised to put an end to corruption and secret deals, insisting it's the people's time. We cannot. We cannot allow the PLP to get their hands on another dollar of our VAT money. They have been disastrous in Grand Bahama. They talk about gold, but instead have left their destructive rust, rust stains all over Grand Bahama. Deputy leader and incumbent for East Grand Bahama, Peter Turnquist, challenged the Prime Minister to reveal all of the details surrounding the sale and reopening of the Grand Lucayan Resort. And I challenge them today. Show us. Don't tell us. Show us the documentation. Let us know what happened from that meeting that supposedly happened in Canada. See, we're tired of stories in Grand Bahama. We've heard enough. We want real results. And your free national movement change team we will bring results. Already, we are working with investors to come to Grand Bahama, to develop second home markets, to develop senior assisted living communities, develop manufacturing plants. We can do this, Grand Bahama. Meantime, FNM candidates for West End and Bimini, Pakisha Parker and Pine Ridge, Reverend Frederick McElpine, had this message for all voters. For those of you who have registered to vote, I urge you to vote. Don't sit back. I know you're disenfranchised. You're frustrated. You feel this way because the government has been so poor in the job that it is supposed to do that you don't even want to take a right that you have and get it done. But I admonish each and every one of you who have voted, show up at the polls. Show up at the polls. Do what you have to do at the polls. Vote them out. Fire them. Throw them out. Pine Ridge, don't let the man fool you again. Talking about he'll give you money. Take the money. 
and vote his astronomical anatomy out. I figured the ducking devil would appreciate the medical analogy. Meantime, the Democratic National Alliance also holding its first mass rally of the political season. DNA candidates are confident in their ability to win the upcoming election. Speaking at the rally was DNA deputy leader and candidate for Seabreeze, Christopher Mortimer. If you believe in a better future for yourself and your children and your family and your grandchildren, you're going to vote for the DNA. Because we are going to break this system to the ground. This is your country. This is your Bahamas. Democratic National Alliance leader Branville McCartney urged voters to have faith in God, faith in themselves, and faith in the DNA, insisting the DNA's plan is the way forward for the country. Well, we have seen where the national vision has not been fulfilled. From its inception, the DNA move, movement has been guided by a vision of a people esteemed as the most precious resource above all natural and material resource. And the nurturing of our intellectual and creative brilliance will help us become a generally democratic, economically prosperous, and socially mobile 21st century nation. Free National Movement Deputy Leader Peter Turnquist says after five years of turmoil, FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis has hit his stride and has come into his own as leader of the party. Turnquist said the Progressive Liberal Party made a bad idea in centering its campaign on the hardships of the once embattled FNM leader, saying Minnis has proven himself to be a man with backbone and integrity. Kyle Joaquin reports. He's been called everything from weak to incompetent, and most recently he's been accused of constantly running from the press. But there is one thing his deputy leader says Dr. Hewitt Minnis isn't, and that's a coward. In a candid interview this week, Turnquist was asked how he would respond to critics like PLP Chairman Bradley Roberts, who criticized Dr. Minnis for releasing press statements rather than more interviews with the press. I don't think my different leader leads, needs any defense, quite frankly. The fact of the matter is he's focused on the task at hand. A visibly confident leader emerged Thursday night during the FNM's first mass rally of the election season, throwing blows at the PLP and calling for the resignation of two cabinet ministers. But still, questions arise as to why the FNM leader isn't made as available to the media in the run-up to the May 10th general election. Talking to the press isn't necessarily going to help him to develop his proposals or to put his plans in place. Uh, Dr. Minnis has been very busy about uh, setting our, our, our policies. He's busy about getting our campaign in order. He's busy about meeting people uh, throughout this Commonwealth uh, to determine their issues and to prioritize what we ought to be looking at in our first uh, phase of, uh, of governance. Uh, and so it is a matter of, of, of running from anything. We have a very, very talented and diverse team. Turnquist said the FNM leader is simply focused on the party's main goal for the next two weeks. But he added, Bahamans have the wrong train of thought when it comes to certain aspects of being the leader of a party and a country. We have to get away from this, this, this whole idea that the prime minister must speak or that he, he must be the spokesman. Uh, that's not the way that we look at this and that's not the way that we are going to be able to move ourselves uh, beyond the kind of uh, um, uh, one man kind of leadership that we see with Mr. Christie today. We need uh, to ensure that all voices, uh, all uh, persons of goodwill who, are, who have something to say, who have something to contribute, have an opportunity to speak. Turncrest referenced newcomers like Marvin Dames, Dionisio Diagler, and Jeffrey Lloyd, who have been vocal on direct issues. Dr. Minnis leads a very dynamic team of individuals and he has given them the freedom to speak on his behalf and to speak on the behalf of this party. Reporting for our news, I'm Kyle Joaquin. Still ahead tonight, police investigating another fatal shooting here in the Capitol. That story and more when our news returns.